Hey guys, Ty Bryson here, and until a few weeks ago, I had no idea I was addicted to my smartphone. Most likely, just like you do right now. And by the way, I was like, hey, I'm not addicted, there's no way. But I actually found out this because basically, I was watching a three-hour podcast with Joe Rogan, okay? A three-hour podcast while thinking that I'm not addicted to being on my phone, okay? But the point is this, okay? On this podcast, Joe Rogan said, for example, hey... People have a problem with smartphones. They use it way too often. So he recommended a book called Irresistible by Adam Alter, a professor in business and psychology, which by the way, match out very well. But the point is, as soon as he recommended it, I went on Audible and downloaded the eight hour audiobook and started reading it back to back. And then I found out very quickly, hey, Tommy, you actually have a problem and you might be on the top ladder of the problem because basically I spend a lot of time on my phone, but I had no idea that that was not normal. So that's what we're actually going to talk about today and how do you eliminate that and how do you stop being obsessed with a smartphone today. And by the way, guys, if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day. So you should also subscribe, hit the bell, so you're notified on top of also destroying the like button. And by the way, I feel guilty by saying that, but in reality, if you watch my channel, you get to learn something new, and that's what makes everything a lot more tolerable, okay? So you come here, watch the video, you learn something, you leave. Don't spend eight hours on this channel, please don't, although I appreciate that, but I do want you to manage your time a lot better and not be here for like the entire day. Spend an hour a day, something like that, and learn something new, and that way you're good to go. But now, let's talk about exactly how do you know if you have a problem or, for example, if you don't have a problem? Now, the answer is, guys, I can tell you right now that according to YouTube, around 80% of you right now are watching me from a smartphone, either iOS or, for example, Android. And some of you, 20%, are actually on Windows, Macintosh, Roku, Smart TVs, Xbox, PlayStation, Chromecast, all of those devices. But the point is that the bulk of you are actually right now on your smartphone, either Android or for example, iPhone. But there is one more thing I wanna tell you. Most likely, right now, you're doing either three things. You're either eating, procrastinating, or for example, you clicked on this video to learn something new. It's either those three things right there. And sometimes, you can be doing literally all three of them. You're procrastinating while you're eating and actually learning something new, and that's not actually a good thing, which I did think it was a good thing, but in reality, it's not as good as you probably think. But now, let's talk about exactly how do you know if you actually have a problem. The answer is, do these things right here. The first step is this, okay, go on your iPhone. If you're on iOS, click settings, then screen time, then click see all activities. That way you know exactly how much time you spend on your phone and what apps you spend that time on. So just scroll down and it'll show you exactly how much time you actually spend on your phone. But for example, if you are an Android, it's not that simple. It's kind of like hidden. You have to go on settings, then battery, battery usage, tell you exactly what you spend most of your time actually on. But before I tell you guys, hey, comment down below. Let me know how much time you spend on your phone. I'm gonna show you exactly how much time I've spent on my phone. And by the way, anywhere from five to four hours or so, that is way too much time. And usually it means you actually have a problem. But before I tell you to show me yours, I'm going to show you mine. Just like, remember like um, back in kindergarten, you know, you show me yours to show you mine. Like that's weird, but yeah. Okay, let's just get into it, okay? But the answer is guys, let's go into settings here on my phone, a real phone right here. And by the way, my phone is actually in black and white. When I screen record it, it's actually in color. Why? Because basically, when you have a black and white phone, it becomes a lot less attractive, okay? And that is the goal whenever I use my phone. But let's go in here to settings and then click right here where it says screen time, right here, notifications, sounds and haptics, do not disturb, and then screen time, click that. And then click, by the way, I only spend an average of around one hour and four minutes on my phone. And by the way, that's a massive lie because basically, the week literally just started, okay? And by the way, it's around 11 a.m. and I'm already like an hour down on my phone. But if you wanna see exactly what you spend time on, click right here to see all activity, then scroll down a little bit, and right up here it says this week, right? See how that popped up right there? And click the arrow, and here you go, okay? Basically saying that, hey, last week, I spent an average of around eight hours and 52 minutes just on my phone. And on what? Basically Chrome, a game I downloaded called Brawl Stars, 
Facebook, WhatsApp, Among Us, I don't know what I was doing there, and also Netflix. A ton of time on unproductive things, if I'm being honest with you. Tommy, but what about YouTube, right? Where's that app at? You know, the answer is I no longer have that app, and that's why I spent way too much time on Chrome. Because I basically just bypassed it and went on Chrome to watch more YouTube videos because basically I was spending a ton of time on the app, okay? But here's the last week before that, November 8th to November 15th here. I spent 12 hours that week on Netflix, WhatsApp, Chrome, camera, messenger. That's basically because I was actually on vacation. I only spent around six hours and 21 minutes on my phone. And the week prior to that one, November 1 to November 8th, I spent productive weeks, by the way, on FitBod for exercise, five hours, messaging, four hours, WhatsApp, three hours, Chrome, and the YT app. I wasn't really spending that much time whatsoever on unproductive apps whatsoever, and that's actually a pretty good thing I'm proud about, okay? And the average run seven hours and 35 minutes. So overall, I'm looking at around between six hours all the way up to nine hours, almost 10 hours on my cell phone, on my smartphone, every single week. And that's actually embarrassing. That's actually a problem. That's actually not a good thing. And if you actually are between four to 10 hours, that's not a good thing. But guys, I showed you mine. So comment down below and let me know exactly how much time do you spend on your smartphone every single week. And by the way, I thought I was special, but my friends spend almost the same amount of time on their smartphones also. And it's actually a more normal thing as we get on to the entire like 2020, 2021 and millennials and all this stuff, because basically we spend most of our times basically just on our smartphones. But there you go. That shows you that basically you have a problem. So now let's go ahead and talk about solutions and how do you actually go ahead and fix this problem. So basically the first thing you want to ask yourself is why do I spend so much time on this app? Why do I like it? What don't I like about it? And why do I ask you want to change? If you don't know the pros and the cons about something, most likely you're not gonna change the habit that you're actually doing. For example, why do I spend so much time on the this app right here? The answer is I like learning something new and I also like wasting time and passively watching something and it's actually not a good thing. And usually, if I'm being honest here, I'm procrastinating from doing something that can actually benefit me and increase my life in some way. And that's actually not a good thing. But basically, you have to ask yourself, well, what's the good, what's the bad? And then, and only then, you can actually go ahead and make a change. So the first thing is, basically, guys, you guys might not know this, but honestly, you know, I actually deleted a few apps from my phone. So basically, if I go on my phone and type in Instagram, it does not pop up because basically I no longer have Instagram. If I go on my phone and type in, for example, YouTube, it doesn't pop up because basically I no longer have YouTube on my phone, only the YT app and that's about it. But on top of that, I just have Facebook. I don't use that. And I delete a lot of apps that I basically don't use anymore because basically they were taking up a ton of my time. So the best way usually to stop using an app is you just go ahead and delete it because guess what? It is 10 times more harder to resist an app than it is just to go ahead and just delete it and forget about it. But tell me, you are a YouTuber. You need to watch YouTube videos. And on top of that, you need to be on Instagram to answer DMs. The answer is yes. Yeah. So what I do is basically on the weekends, I read down all the apps for like around one to two hours and then go ahead and answer DMs for like around two to four hours, okay? On top of that, YouTube, I watch it on my computer for like around an hour or 30 minutes a day and that's about it. But I'm not constantly having access to it with my phone because basically usually I'm on this device a lot more than my PC or my TV and so on and so on, okay? So the best advice is usually, instead of having to resist eating bad food, for example, I love these chips right here, right? And although they're like organic and so on, it's probably not the most healthy thing, but instead of actually having this bag of chips in my desk, the best advice is usually just be like, hey, instead of having this, just go ahead and throw it all away. That way, guess what? I am no longer tempted to go ahead and eat this bag of chips. And by the way, Tommy, that was so bad. You wasted food. The answer is no. I basically just saved my life from eating this bad food and then go ahead and cause me problems in the future. Although it's a great brand and it's organic, all this stuff, it's not that healthy when you eat it in excess, okay? And that's the problem here. I miss, by the way. But the point is, if you have a fridge that's filled with healthy food, usually you're just going to eat healthy food. If you have a jar of cookies, now you have to resist that. So basically, that's not what you want. So the best thing is, hey, 
If you have bad apps on your phone, don't benefit you, don't add value, delete them. That way, you're not distracted or tempted by them. And if you do need them for work, download them as you need them, use them, delete them, and then call it a day. That is basically what I do today also. And by the way, guys, one of the things you probably don't know is that basically, Steve Jobs, the man responsible for the iPhone most likely and also the iPad, in reality, he limited the amount of time his kids got to spend on their smartphones and also iPads to the point where they didn't even have the devices until they actually got a lot older. Meaning, hey, Tommy, but I'm not a kid. I can use whatever I want, whenever I want. In reality, that's true. But if you actually think about it, okay, let's say, for example, you spend seven hours a day on your phone, okay? Seven hours a day. In one year, that's going to be around 2,555 hours. Over 50 years, that's going to be around 127,000 hours on your phone. And then, by the way, this is me. I'm where I'm heading if I don't change. Now, here is the crazy math here. This means divided by 24, basically one day, you're spending around 5,322 days on your smartphone. In years, you're actually spending around 365, you're actually spending around 14.58 years of your lifetime just in a smartphone, most likely wasting time watching ads and making somebody else's life better by giving them more money to go out there and enjoy their lives even more, okay? And that's the point I'm basically saying. If it doesn't benefit you, usually you don't need it. I'm just being honest here. Now, the last thing, guys, is basically, I wanna give you guys a few tips and tricks that basically help me out a ton when it comes to not using my cell phone way too much. The first thing is this, okay, guys? What you wanna do is basically make a rule that when you're eating in the bathroom, before bed, or work and have a conversation, just don't use your phone whatsoever. That way, you save around one to two hours automatically, okay, when you're eating, don't use it. In the bathroom, don't use it. Before you sleep, don't use it. And on top of that, whenever I charge my phone, I charge it very far away from my bed. That way, I'm not tempted to go ahead and actually use my phone. When I'm actually working, I actually turn off my phone and put it, guess where? I put it in a drawer. That way, I actually forget about it and actually don't use it. That is the point I'm telling you guys here. On top of that, okay, delete the bad apps and install the good ones. For example, I don't have Instagram, but I do have Audible, Duolingo, and also, for example, workout apps. That way, I get productive, I work out, I learn something new, but overall, it's helping me, okay? And those bad apps, I don't ignore them overall, I just download them on the weekends, and that way, I don't spend all my time during the week on those apps whatsoever. And by the way, don't try to go cold turkey, because usually, I got this Nokia phone, honestly, to go ahead and detox, okay? Guess what? I never installed a SIM in it because basically it's impossible to kind of like survive in the real world with this phone, right? So it's not like, hey, get rid of your phone. It's more like, hey, just empty out all the trash, right? And then basically just download stuff that actually benefits you and that way you're good to go. So although I love YouTube and watching YouTube videos, I only watch them for around an hour a day while I'm on break and decide to actually go ahead and watch those videos. Although I love Netflix, I only watch it for around an hour or three minutes a day or an episode a day. That way, I don't spend all my time on that app. Although I love Instagram and see what's going on in the world, the answer is I only download on the weekends, and that way, I don't spend all my time looking at pictures and so on and so on and so on. That is the point of this video. But guys, overall, I highly recommend you buy this book right here called Irresistible by Adam Alter. It'll help you out a ton, change the way exactly what you think. And by the way, if you want to get this book for free, I have a link down below to Audible. That way, you actually download Audible with my link. You get two free books, and if you cancel, you still get to keep the books, and that way, you don't lose out on anything. But guys, overall, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this video helped you in some way. As always, like this video right here. Well, like this video on top of also, subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified. And before I go, you want to actually text me or talk to me through my Patreon, link down below, or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson, which I will get back to you on the weekend. And on top of that, if you guys want to see another video on basically how I actually manage my day and how I work and so on and so on, here's that video right here. Click on out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.